Hello friends, the topic of this tutorial is how to add morpher on a character. This is a character whose face is attached with the body. But for adding morpher, we want the head to be a separate object as expressions are only required for the face. For separating the head from the body, we will select all the polygons in the head. So I have selected all these polygons in the head and I will go down the drop down menu and hit detach and will detach the head as a separate object and I'm naming it face now I will select the face along with the eyes we need to copy eyes along with the face for a morph, morph target because when we will make the morph target like close eye we need to know that the eyelids will be covering the eyeball so that's why we need to take the eyeballs along with the morph target although we can make as many morph targets as you want but in general for a basic character i have not required more than eight nine morph targets So now I will create the first morph target and call it both eyebrows up. I will uh, change the name to identify it. Now I will select some vertex keeping the soft selection on. just to try uh, and create a uh, expression of surprise as this is only for for uh, example i have not really done it properly as it'll take more time you can take your time to get the desired result So we have created one morph target and I have named it both eyebrows up. If you want to be sure if you like the result of the morph target you can add turbo smooth on top of it and see the final result but it will do for now. But uh, make sure that you remove the turbo smooth before adding the morph ta target otherwise it will be it will not be taken up as a morph target. So now we will add the modifier morpher from the modifier list on our main character face. And as you can see in the drop down menu there are a lot of slots for the morph targets. Right click on one of them and select pick from the scene and we will select the target that we have just made both eyebrows up. As you can see that it's working. There is a green mark near the target. It denotes that your target is present in the scene for editing. If it is blue, it means that you have deleted the target, so you won't be able to edit the target. I am also adding the second target, one eye closed. As you can see, the that this target is also working. Although you may not really require one eye closed, so you should use both eye closed instead. 
otherwise you'll have to animate both morph targets and that will just increase your work but I've done one just for an example so although we can make as many target as your character need but uh, in practice I have not needed more than 8 to 9 morph targets which are uh, both eyebrows up sad eyebrows eye closed a smile for words like o m etc like m can st stand for b p you know any uh, word which requires closing of lips and uh, although you can make a morph target for mouth open but it's a good idea to use bone to open the mouth with skinning instead as it gives better result and a wider range of expressions so now we are happy with the morpher I am adding right now just two targets you can make uh, and add all the morph targets at this stage or you can make them later the good thing is even after adding skin to the character the morpher can still take more morph targets and you can edit any target at any time except when you have put cloth modifier once you have put cloth modifier which is usually on the top then you will not be able to uh, change any any of the morph any of the modifier which are below the cloth modifier so that's the reason cloth simulations are done in the end when everything else is done for now i'll just make a layer add the morph targets in and hide the layer it is a uh, advice that even when you think you have finalized all your morph targets you should still keep one or two unedited targets just in case you want to make some new target at some point in time after morpher we have to put skin modifier but you cannot put the skin modifier directly on top of morpher so for that we'll have to add edit poly first after putting edit poly now you can attach the face to the body as you can see it has become one object but the face is still another element when I select uh, these two vertex, these vertex, you will see that there are two vertex, and this is the area where we have detached the face. So now we have to weld all these vertices together. So what we do is we select these vertices, and we see that we have selected two vertices. and we will click weld and we ensure that these two vertices have become one again we will weld the other one and like this we will basically cover the whole edge that was detached the thing about weld is that even if you select more than two target uh, sorry more than two vertex it will weld only the close vertex and it will leave out the vertex which is far away but still one has to be careful about what uh, you know you are selecting and welding
so we are almost reaching where we had started which means uh, we are almost finishing now we'll see if we have left out any vertex so just click the polygon and uh, you will see all selected polygons and we'll just drag them up as you can see all the vertices have been welded which means now it has become one object and we'll make sure that our morpher is still working so this is where we are done with the morpher and now uh, we can add skin modifier on top of it after adjusting the bones or a biped i hope you like it any comments and questions are welcome and have a nice day